Good morning, everybody. What's happening? This is Gil. Uh, welcome to my podcast. I decided that today I'm going to do a word of the day. I'm going to start bringing that on every day to my podcast. And so on dictionary.com, today's word of the day is agrotat, agrotat, which means it is a noun, an unclassified degree granted a university student who has fulfilled all requirements for graduation but was prevented by illness from attending the final examinations. The origin of agrotat is a graduate degree given because of illness. It's a British English term that was borrowed from Latin. So let's see what it sounds like. Agrotat. 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 Okay. So an example of agrotat used in a sentence is with an unusually nasty flu making its way around the university, the vice chancellor granted agrotats to several sick students who were otherwise set to graduate mid-year. So that means they gave a, uh, a degree to the people who were going to graduate and they gave it to them because of sickness, agrotat. So now let's try this word game thing and let's see if I'm improving any of my uh, abilities at learning words. So united and working together effectively is the definition. Crumbling, cohesive, friable, or discohesive are the words possible. United and working together effectively, I say cohesive. And I got it right. Next definition, forbidden, especially by an authority. Verboten, permissible, endurable, endorsed. Forbidden, forbidden, especially by an authority. So permissible means permission, endurable, no, endorsed. That gives permission. So verboten, yes. The practice of monitoring digital data relating to the personal details or online activities. Data opsy, data mining, datary, or data valence. The practice of monitoring digital data relating to personal details or online activities. I say data mining, and I'm wrong. Come before something in date. Post date, miss date, concur, or antedate. Antedate. Yes. Full of intense anger, ireful, agreeable, genial, debonair. I say ireful, yes. Extreme or irrational fear of clowns. Oh Lord, what is that? Apiophobia, coitophobia, coprophobia, coolerophobia. I don't know, I'm gonna say coito, no, not coito. Coprophobia, coprophobia, wrong. Regard with great respect despise, no, nope. venerate, possible, scorn, no, abhor, no, that's all with hate, so venerate, yes. Question number eight, courage in pain or adversity, frailty, no, nope. fortitude, fortitude, exceptional fortitude, no, uh, infirmity, no, nope. debility, no, nope. that's the courage, okay, fortitude, yes. A cause of obsessive fear, anxiety, or irritation, a cause of obsessive fear, anxiety, or irritation. Bugbear, slight, amity, cordiality. No, cordial, no, slight, no, bugbear, no. I'm going to go amity. Wrong. To look or stare angrily or sullenly. To look or stare angrily or sullenly. Balder, slender, glower, pioneer. Balder, slender, glower, balder wrong. God, I got a 60 out of 100. I got our first question correct. The second question correct. The third I got wrong. The practice of monitoring digital data, data relating to personal details or online activities. Data valence. Data valence as in surveillance. Okay. Extreme or irrational fear of clowns, which is question number six. I got wrong. It's cool rophobia. Number seven, I got right, which is venerate. Number eight, I got right, which is fortitude. Number nine, a cause of obsessive fear, anxiety, or irritation is called bugbear. Number 10, to look or stare angrily or sullenly is glower, glower, or glower. I don't know how you say it. So I got a 60 out of 100 on this quiz. Not great, not horrible. And anyway, that is our uh, word of the day and our questions that we, uh, and our quiz. So that's our word of the day and our quiz. This is Gil. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Later.